Hello everyone. Hi. <gasps> it's premiere night. It's premiere night. Um, I need to call Jocko Sims, who's coming to do this with me today. How are you all? I bet you're all super excited for this. Um, I know I am. It feels like it feels like such a long time, but it really hasn't been. It's just been a couple of months. Um, but we've done seven episodes so far, so we've got lots to talk about. Okay, let's get Jocko Sims on the line. Hi, everyone. Okay. That work? <gasps> Guys, What's up? Look who it is. Oh, hang on, why can't I hear anything? You can't hear anything? Hang on one second. Now I can. Volume up. Volume up. Look, we've had a whole year to get this technology at home down. You know what? Well, as someone who's always on their phone, I feel like you should really be teaching me how to work. <laughs> I am always on my phone. Even when we're on set, I just can't put it down. I'm attached to it, but I just love the fans so much. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I feel like I don't, I don't have as much, um, as much commitment to it as you. So I'm, I'm glad. Will you please do it, do it for me as well? Well, yeah, I will. But you know, I, I gotta say, I, listen, uh, I work really, really hard, and I don't have nearly uh, the amount of followers that you do. So you don't have to even work as hard. It comes to you. You know what? It's not about the amount of followers, it's the quality. But all my followers are awesome and they should all follow Mr. Jocko Sims. And Nick likewise, Nick follow Renner. Janet. I'm so okay, glad we're doing so this. You guys gave me lots of questions to go through um, and I'm going to fire them off because Freema and Ryan are going to go live at 9.45. So we are going to try and wrap it up so you guys can jump from here over to Ryan and Freema. Boom. Like a premier party. Yes, okay. it is. Jocko, I sent you the questions. Is yes. there anything that you particularly wanted to answer first, or should I um, just fire them off? Yeah, fire them off. I have them right here. Um, yeah, you, you start. I'll, I'll jump okay, in with one as well. Okay, so this question is from Anjali Kizart Alaudi. This is why Sorry. I didn't want to read them. I know, I can't get all the names. That's and Angel, I his, I don't know what it is. I'm sorry. But the question no, is, is love going to heal both of you this season? Um, good question, actually. And I think in some ways, I think it feels like so far, maybe that could be happening. Yeah, you got a you got a interesting relationship there. What? How do you think? Me? What about you? I kind of forgot. It's so weird talking <laughs> to my ex about this. <laughs> no, um, no, but tell me, tell me, how do you, how you feel about your uh, relationship with uh, a coworker? I think Bloom and Reynolds are both pretty good at having some sort of relationship with their with their coworkers. Yeah, it, it's it's gone well in the past, hasn't it? So <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, what I do you think, think? You think is Bloom in love? I think Bloom is, and I don't think she has, she has been for a very long time. And I think that's really frightening for her. And it's maybe making her, I don't know, I don't want to say sabotage, but I think it could get a little dangerous. I think so. What about you? What about you and your uh, married lady? You know what I think about Reynolds? You know, he puts out that he wants certain things, right? And he always does the opposite. You know, uh, he told human Bloom. Nature. Huh? Human nature. It's human nature. That's what it is. And that's why I think people can relate to these characters. Because at the end of the day, they can have it all planned out. And, and much like the rest of us, they're just, they're just human beings. So I don't know. I don't know if he's necessarily in love or, or is it that, that whole notion of wanting something that you can't have. You know, how much of that is, is, is coming into play? You know, w yeah. we don't know what's, what's going to happen. Maybe uh, Malva will one day say that she'll uh, leave her husband. What will Reynolds say if that, if that happens? That's going to be a very different relationship from the one he's having with her right now. If right. she left her husband, right? Right, Maybe like, like, it would. 
Right now, he has no response. Look at that doggy in the back there. I see that doggy. Oh, he is just desperate to be on camera. Chippy, come here. Come He's over here. just like his mama. Come here. <laughs> he gets it from me. <laughs> come here. Aw. This, everyone, this is Chip. Aw. Oh, my gosh. Darling. He's so damn cute. Where are your pups? My pups, right, they're they're calmed down for the evening. It's it's nine o'clock. I had to get them to bed, so they're they're chilling. They're they're good at the moment. I'll, I'll, I'll I want to ask you about the puppy the bedtime end. routine. Okay, I'm gonna fire off the next one because okay, I want to try. I feel like we can get all of these questions. Um, all right. Okay. Next question is from at mylena dot almeida two. This person asked a few questions, but I just mm -hmm. picked one of theirs. Favorite scene or episode so far? Love you guys. <laughs> I think I think that's such a hard question because yeah. we shoot so many episodes on this yeah. show that it all kind of like blurs in. But I think for me, if I narrow it down to this season, um, I think, oh, I think it was probably the stuff that I got to just recently shoot with Gina Gershon. Um, uh, so my mom comes back and we have some great stuff. So I think that's probably my the most fun stuff I've got to shoot. This I, uh, uh, slightly offended by that, but it's okay. <laughs> uh, I I would like to shoot some scenes with Gina. I know. Well, I do you know? Been what? a fan for a long time. We gotta get. We've got to keep getting her back because I'm so into the storyline, and I think they're doing a really good job with it. It's like ramping up. Yeah. Um, okay. So I have a question from Loves Damn a lot uh, at Loves Damn a lot, and it says, Janet, uh, is that a real British accent you're using every time the cameras stop rolling? I'm just kidding. I just made that one. Oh my god! That was me. How did they know I was faking it? Okay, fine. I'll just I'll just do my real voice. All right. The real question is from Nessin Hamatos at Nessin Mahatos, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, will Will Lauren and Floyd support each other in their relationships? Can we expect scenes of them talking about their relationships? I would say, yes, you can expect some scenes like that. I've been going to her since season three. I'm definitely going to go back to Bloom. Bloom is, is, is my best friend. You know, uh, she, uh, she has, first of all, she's thoroughly intrigued with what she knows so far. And all she knows is that Reynolds is in some sort of relationship with a coworker. But when Bloom finds out the details of this, she doesn't know, right? That it's sort of like... I think what's really... I mean, we've had a couple of scenes this season um, and they've been really playful. I feel like we're finding this other side to to the dynamic between our characters. That's... I guess Bloom gets to be her most genuine around you, actually. Yeah, I love it. I love it. We kind of pick each other apart a little bit as well, but I, I like that as well. I think it's a good dynamic. Absolutely. Uh, want me to throw in another one real quick? Yeah, throw in another one. Medaz CX, M E D A Z C X says, in one sentence, describe each other's character. Mm. I thought one word would have been a little bit more challenging. Yeah, Sentences. One, one sentence. I can do okay. a 10 minute sentence. Bloom is the quintessential human being. I think that was really stupid what I just said. <laughs> but I just feel like, no, I just, let me let me explain. She she accepts. Yeah, I, I would have to redo the sentence. But let me just talk to you about Bloom. She accepts talk about it. people for who they are. Um, she's a no nonsense individual. She doesn't like any fiddle faddling in her damn ER. You know, she um, she will fight for you as a friend. She will be there for you. Uh, she provides advice when you need it. Um, and she's just a damn tough cookie. I just feel like a lot of, hum you know, when, when Reynolds goes off a little bit or he may be wrong about a particular issue, um, she she's there to just bring him back. And I mm -hmm. feel like we could all use a friend like that. And that's why I said the quintessential human being, the quintessential human. This is what humans should be. Uh, compassionate and caring about other people and, and there to knock you on upside the head when you need it. Yeah, I love that. And I think there's a lot of characters that Shauna has created in this show. And I think that's why people, people enjoy watching it because it's like 
hanging out with their friends, isn't it? And are good people. Yeah. Okay, Renault, let me think about, it's hard to put it into one sentence because I feel like there's such an evolution of your character at the moment and there's, they're picking apart the onion, like, you know, like peeling back each layer of the onion. Um, mm -hmm. I think Reynolds is no longer the sort of guy who only plays it safe and is stepping into his true nature. And I think that's really exciting to see. I feel like there's there's been so much resistance from your character, like even from the get-go with like yeah. Lauren. Mm -hmm. And these parameters that he put around himself in order to keep himself safe, I suppose. Yeah. Now feel like his moral compass is shifting somewhat. And I think it'll be really exciting to see where you end up. Hey, I like that. Okay, cool. Your turn. Go. Okay, my turn. Okay. I'm such a dork, guys, that I wanted to get all your questions, but I didn't know how to look at them whilst I was on the, the live. So I typed them all out onto my <laughs> iPad. <laughs> technology, cha technology challenge. Okay, uh, this is from um, at sharpwin.poetry. Okay. And their question is, can you tell us any funny stories from filming this season? Come on, Jocko, mm. tell us something funny. Funny stories from this season. Uh, gosh, I was just working with Freema. I know funny stuff happens all the time with her. Oh, I got this. Wasn't funny to me. <laughs> but but no, everybody, no, it's gonna be funny. Everybody, everybody laughed at this. So I had a scene with uh, the great Tyler Levine, and we were uh, drinking, what was it, coffee or tea? We were making tea at the top of the scene. I want to say that Darnell was, was directing this because you know she likes props and, and stuff like that. But we're, we're, we're putting, and so I'm, I'm faking making the coffee. And I, because I'm, you know, I'm taking sips of water or whatever it is that, that, that we're drinking. And Tyler in his scene uh, is not actually drinking it, but he, he's a method actor and he takes all this sweet and low and he's just dumping it each take after take into his cup. So uh, we get over to the table, we're doing the scene and we're doing take after take. And at some point uh, the, we mix the cups up. And remember, I'm drinking in the scene and he's not drinking the concoction he's made. And so I take one big sip in the middle of that scene and I got a mouth full of sweet and low. The oh. saccharin, the, the bitterness of the sugar. And I did a, a little bit of spit take. I spit it out and screamed and go, oh God. So it's somewhere, it's gonna be like one of the best bloopers ever. Blooper reels. There was and, another question on here. Yeah. We've got one minute left, but there was another question about like who's gonna have the most on the blooper reel. I feel like it could, I feel like maybe Tyler, I also feel like you could be up there too, though. I never make <laughs> yeah. mistakes, so I won't be, I won't be on that. You, you, you don't make mistakes, you're perfect. Um, yes, I don't know, it all depends. We, you and I haven't messed, I've only messed up a couple of takes with, with as far as in a funny way, uh, Freema and, and Ryan, but I feel like we should, we should take a couple of dives and just ruin should, some takes. Yeah, we I should do that. Just, just to get on the blooper reel. Yeah, the next time, yeah, because, you know, it's lacking a little bit. We need to do that the next time we work together, all right? Okay, guys, um, there was one more question that I'm just going to answer because, uh, hang on, where is it? One second. Um, oh, this is from at Clumsy Nela, N-E-J-L-A. Uh, when will you come to Paris for the show promotion? And I tell you what, Clumsy, I would like to come straight away. And I am coming to Paris in December for two nights with my husband. So I'm very excited. Uh -huh. um, look out for me. I'll be around doing all the tourist things. Nice. Uh, okay, switch over to uh, Ryan and Freema now on the live. And we'll hop on, hopefully, and see you right before the premiere. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed tonight's show. Thanks Happy so much for coming and doing this with me, Jocko. You're Love welcome. You. Love you. Happy premiere. Take care. Bye. Peace.